so the other day I was cruising through the family dollar, which is the evil twin to Dollar General here in the U.S. And always looking for something cheapo, electronico, gadgety that we can play with on the channel. And I came across this, you know, your basic power bank. It was 10 bucks. It's called the iTech. It's by SoundLogic. And it's an ultra slim 4,000 milliamp hour power bank. And it's a, you know, it's a pretty nice size here. There's your metric measurements. Whoa, it's a slippery little guy. And then your imperial measurements. Don't have a little scale here, but doesn't weigh anything. So here we have the instruction manual. A lot of cover your ass nonsense. Now we can get to the good part here. Specifications. Battery capacity 4,000 milliamp hours. Output 5 volt at 1 amp. Input 5 volt 1 amp. Dimensions weight. There you go. Here's your weight. 4.2 ounces. Built in overcharge protection. Well, I should certainly hope so. So let's charge it up. I've got it pretty well drained here. You can see there's only one lamp lit. It's got the micro USB for input, USB type A for output. Just a little, uh, to get the light to come on here. A little cover your ass writing on the back. That's about it. All right, I'm gonna charge it up and we'll see what it takes. Well, it took a few hours, but you know how well you guys can see the lights there. There you go. We are 100% charged. So we'll unplug that. Now, luckily this remembers the amount of charge it put in. So if I plug that in there, you can see, if I zoom in, what the? I thought the light, there we go. You guys read that? It took 1,842 milliamp hours. Yeah, that's not a. Not the 4,000 milliamp hours that it was promised, but you know what? Really didn't expect that. So our next test is to find out if it can actually output the rated current. It says one milliamp. So for that, we'll be bringing in this guy here, which is a three amp electronic load. So what we'll do is we will plug our charger doctor in here. And then we'll plug this guy in here. Let's zoom in. And I will crank it up to uh, put some load on this thing. So there we are at a half amp. And at one half amp, you can see it is a uh, pretty stable at five volts. I'm gonna drop it a little bit, 4.985. It's still pretty good. Let's take it up. 600 milliamps. Still holding good at 4.98. Take it up again. Say 750 milliamps. Okay, 860 milliamps, and we have reached 
the uh, theoretical specification lower limit for USB charge of 4.95 volts. So let's take it up to the 1 amp. Okay, there we are at 1 amp, 1.01. 4.94 yeah that'll still charge your stuff but um, it is outside of the specifications for the USB charge so now let's see how far up we can take it before it completely drops off the voltage wow not very far okay there's one amp one point oh seven still good one point one falling a little bit one point one five one point two two and we're down to four point nine one volts okay one point three and we're down to four point six six volts which in actuality, it would probably still charge, albeit slowly. Now we're down to 4.2 at one and a half amp. And that's it. She died. So at about one and a half amps, we've reached the total limit of this charger. Okay, so we tested its rated capacity, which is nowhere near the true capacity. And we tested its rated output, which was close enough on the mark. There's only one thing left to do, and that's have a look under her skirt. So we'll open her up and see what's hiding inside. And, uh, in case she goes Chernobyl on us, I do have this lovely tin as a self-containment unit. All right, so let's see if we can get this open. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Looks like there's a some sort of secondary plug in there. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so if I get just a little bit deep, oh, oh, a little bit deeper here. There we go. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Everything is in a tray. I like that. So let's reposition here and zoom in and take a look at the board. All right, here's our close-up look at the board. Over here we have, this is the power switch. We have an inductor. And this control chip, which is marked SY3511D. And I can't find a data sheet on it. The only thing I can find on it is that it is made by ThinkFar. And it is a linear charge step-up discharge mobile power chip so that must be our protection and we've got a few passive components 
We've got our four LEDs for our charge status indicator up here. We've got our USB micro input here, our USB A output here. And then as you can see from the battery on that side and also from this side, there does not appear to be any sort of protection in there. Now another thing I've noticed is that there are a lot of unpopulated uh, slots here. Capacitor, transistor, capacitor, over here resistor, LED. So this board must have a couple of other auxiliary functions or can be uh, configured in a different manner. But that's pretty simple. And I have to say, I really like the design. I like the fact that it can be slid in and out of this case. I was not expecting that. I was expecting to have a fight on my hands. But in actuality, that just goes in there. very nicely and as you can see we've done no damage so that's our look at the iTech power supply from sound design which again I picked up for ten dollars from the family dollar store it's 4,000 milliamp hour rated capacity but you saw it took less than uh, 2,000 milliamp hours in a charge so you can make your own judgments there but uh, I'll give it a thumbs up. It's functional. It's cheap. <laughs> it's small. You know, definitely shirt pocket size. It could save the day. So if you guys like this, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. And a big thank you to all my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Peace.